this one is mass m1 unbalanced mass at radius equals to r1 and the same mass we can represent here also at radius equals to r1 and makes an angle of theta 1 with positive of x axis consider here another mass m2 radius equals to r2 let's say that this mass at radius equals to what r2 and the angle from this to this is theta 2 from always with respect to what x axis and then we have third mass equals to m3 at radius equals to what r3 so this one is m3 mass and from this point to this one equals to theta 2 and radius equals to r2 and let distance between these two points is l1 and the distance between these two planes is l2 so reference plane i have taken here so this one is l1 from this one the another plane transverse plane at distance equals to what l1 and from r1 and r3 what is the perpendicular distance between transverse plane is l2 so you draw these two figures our corresponding radius so to balance all these masses i required only two balance masses so let me show my balance mass is somewhere here one balance mass and other balance mass i will attach here so i don't know what is the mass of this so let's say this one is mb1 mass and this one is mb2 mass this one is at radius equals to rb2 and this one is at radius equals to what rb1 so in my figure i have two unknowns again so i have to show them at anywhere so right now i don't have a space in this quadrant so i will show two masses in this quadrant so this one is called as mb1 and this one is called as mb2 the corresponding radius is rb1 corresponding radius is rb2 now the angle is if i start from this one and i go to this way then this angle is theta b1 theta b2 similarly i can show another angle that equals to what theta b2 so you can represent it and you can show like this so if i start from this one i can show another angle that is this one is equals to what theta b so right now how many unknowns i have the thing is that the another question is that what should be this distance and what should be this distance so let call this distance equals to a distance and let call this distance equals to b distance so right now i have unknown equal to the distance a the distance b mb1 mb2 rb1 rb2 theta b1 and theta b2 so i have unknowns so normally they will provide you data for a and b normally and they will provide you data for rb1 and rb2 so how many unknowns are left effectively four unknowns so effectively four unknowns it means that you required minimum four equations you can obtain by using sigma f equal to zero and sigma m equals to zero one time we can divide this into two quantity this is a vector quantity and is also a vector quantity so you can write this quantity as summation of sigma fx and this one is summation of fy equals to 0 vector quantity sigma f is consist of fx and fy because i consider only two dimensional system my third axis is going this way so this one is actually z axis this one is your y axis and this one is your x axis so as far as this one is concerned this one is x y axis if you look from this one this one is z this one is y and this one is x correct and i can take the moment about x axis so my summation of moment about <coughs> x equal to 0 summation of moment about y equal to 0 so how many successful equation i can form four and once i know the four equation can i solve this problem very easily that is the only key now sign conventions are this value of force is positive 
this value of force is positive this value of force is negative so only follow this constant okay so make entry for table format that will be very quick first entry is m1 corresponding radius is r1 length now length i will right now keep as it is theta is equals to theta 1 so is fx equals to centrifugal force is m into omega square multiplied by r and if i write x it means cos theta is it a cos theta component yes, so the force is like this and this angle is theta so this component is what cos component and this one is what sine omega will not write because omega is same value for all is okay so we'll just write m 1 r1 cos theta 1 then I write second value equals to what? M R2. This is theta 2. So I can write M2. Third value I will write as M3. Theta 3. M3. R3. Cos theta 3. And this column you have to fill up in sign form. So this one is M1. R1. Sign of theta 1. I am holding a moment. Whatever the plane you have taken, the mass, you take that as a reference plane, either on this side or either on this side, any one side. So this one is reference plane. Reference plane means all distance are measured with respect to this plane. So this is a reference plane. As to this plane, this we called as positive distance and this we called as negative distance as per this axis system. So, is this M1 is a distance of A, but is it a minus A value? So the corresponding entry will be, what is moment? Moment is defined as the force multiplied by corresponding distance. But we are not considering the omega square, so we simply write minus quantity. Minus M1 R1 A into cos of theta 1. Correct? If you multiply it by the given force, with the distance a, does it called as moment? For eight m2, m2 is here. So what is this distance? Is this distance is positive distance? So is this distance is l1 minus a? Agree? So what is the corresponding force? Is it positive sign? So this one is m2 into r2 into distance l1 minus a multiplied by what agree that about r3 so from this point to this point that is for r3 our distance is what l2 but we have to measure with reference to what reference plane so is this l2 minus of a and this value will be equals to m3 force now two more entry are left so one entry is for MB1 and another entry is for MB2. RB1 and RB2. What is the distance for RB1 plane? Is it zero? It's zero. And what is the angle? Is theta B1. Theta B1 is correct? And what is the force? Is MB1 into RB1 into cos of is it theta B1? This term will be sine, and this term will be equals to what? Is it zero? By zero? Because distance is zero. Agree? And then one more entry for RB2. What is the distance between the reference plane and this point? So is that distance will be? L2 minus A plus B. Correct? So this one is L2 minus A plus B. And what is the angle? Theta B2. So what is Fx? Fx is MB2 multiplied by RB2 multiplied by cos of theta B2. <coughs> This one is sine column and what is this value is m b2 
multiplied by Rv2 multiplied by the distance is L2 minus A plus B multiplied by cos of theta 2. Is that fine? So I will fill up this column. I have very little space available here so you can understand this. This one is MB1 and this one is MB2. I have to make one more column. Is that column is for MY? This column is for what? MY. What is the difference between MY and MX? Cos theta 1 will be replaced by what? Sin theta 1. So I have minus M1 into R1 into A into sin of theta 1. Likewise, I can make entry for quantity are known to us. Is M1 is known? Is M2 is known? Is M3 is known? Is R1 is known? R2 is known? R3 is known? Known? Then, if they will provide you, distance they will provide you, so this is known, known, known. Is it also theta 1, theta 2, theta 3 are known? Theta 1, theta 2, theta 3 are known? Yes. Which one is not known? Is this quantity is not known? This quantity is not known. Distance they have to provide. Then, are we able to calculate theta B1 and theta B2? So, what do they have to provide? They have to provide RB1, RB2. And using distance equation, can we calculate zero distance and L2 minus A plus B distance? So how many unknowns effectively we have? MB1, this unknowns are MB1, MB2, theta B1 and theta B2. Is it fine? Now check the column. In this equation, Check M1, R1, A1, sin theta 1 is known. M1. In this figure is the value of M1, M2, M3 is provided. R1, R2, R3 provided. Theta 1, theta 2, theta 3 they are provided. So, one by one. In this one, M1, R1, A cos theta 1 is known. M2, R2, L1 minus sin cos theta 2 known. This one is known. This one we have MB2 and theta B2. Two unknowns. Two unknowns. And is a summation of MX is 0. Summation of MX is 0. So one equation you can form from this. And one equation you can form from this. Two equations. Can we find out in that case the value of MB2 and theta B2. And then we exhaust sigma FX equation. Check my sigma fx equation. Why I am not doing the sigma fx first? Because first quantity is known, second is known, third is known. Here one unknown, third unknown, four unknown. Four unknowns in fx. And here also I have same unknowns. So that is why first you have to solve what what moment. If you solve moment equation, are we able to calculate mb2 and theta b2? Once we know this equation, we will come back to the original equation. We put for this one, then is MB1 and theta B1 are only unknown. So what is the first step? MX0, MY0, solve it first, and what do you get? MB2 and theta B2. Once you know that value, you come to FX term and FY term. That's all.